Hey, it's Don the Auction Professor here. Today we're going to talk about something that I remember as a child, which is dominoes. Dominoes go all over the place. There's many ones that can sell for a lot of money. There's average ones, box versions. Of course, the more you can find, the better they are. But we're going to go to the screen and we're just going to talk about dominoes today. Okay, so today we're going to talk about dominoes. Now, there's many different types of dominoes. I don't care if they're new, used, vintage, or what. They all could hold some value, so I look them all up. This is a promotional item here from Ferrari, the car company. There's Corvette ones. I've seen some Chevy-related ones. There's soda-related ones, movie-related ones. I've seen them for just you name it. I've seen dominoes. The odder the subject, the odder the company, the more they are worth. Now, this is a new set. This one's $600 for this set of dominoes. Um, they might be metal, too, as well. Now, here's a Bacardi. Though This is a table in the whole works with actually spots put in for them. Uh, it's a dominoes table, literally. You could play dominoes sitting here for a, per or a party of four. Nothing super spectacular. It, to me, just looks like a normal table that they've added some uh, features to, obviously, like a, like a folding table. $369. Still a neat item, don't get me wrong. For, like, a game room, I guess you'd say. Now, these are new stainless steel. Somebody's making these right now. I don't know if it's a big professional company, but I have seen these locally now a couple of times. Not nearly this many. They weren't brand new and it wasn't a whole set, but they still sell for good money. This one has a new lot of these 250 bucks. It's not a ton either, so you can see that they do hold value. I don't care if they're in a box either. That's another thing not to worry about. Uh, here's another one, Renzo... Romagnoli, I'm not sure. I'm sure I've butchered that name. So these are crystal. Swarovski. These are crystal. Swarovski crystals. Um, it's a unique set, obviously. Um, I look for anything. I don't really care who made it. If it has potential, I'm looking it up. If it's a domino set that's something I've not seen, I look them up. 250 bucks on that one. Now, color-wise, goes very well. Some of the colors. Green doesn't sell as well. The marbleized Bakelites always sell. This one's just a rub, uh, jumbo-faced uh, red one. The red ones sell just almost as well, if not better, than some of the, the plain white-colored dominoes. Not sure what the deal is. These are big, thick ones. These are like giant jumbo ones. For those, maybe, who are vision-impaired or something along that line. 125 on this one. Move on to the next one here. Here's another set, billet aluminum. Um, it's literally just metal, anodized. They've literally been tinted blue. I'm sure you've seen the the like car engines that are like red and blue and the colors they have on. This is a specific set. There's not a ton of them too, and they're individually wrapped as you see. Eighty bucks for this one here. People make these in their garage, believe it or not. I've seen them do it. I've seen them, you know, done, and I've seen them at craft shows. So dominoes are something you could actually make if you really want to. Even the wood ones, designer wood ones, sell for 75 or so. If you've got the skills and the equipment, it, it wouldn't be much to cut some square dominoes and smooth them off and drill some holes in it. You could make a template, and you can make tons of dominoes yourself. Here's another one. This is a vintage Chris Lloyd. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but it's a marbleized Catalan or Bakelite set. It's in the box or the container. You can tell by looking at them. There's a test you can do. Most of the tests are fairly accurate, but some of them will give you mixed results. 280 bucks for this set. People find these at you know estate sales and things and don't realize they're Bakelite. They haven't a clue. They look so new. The boxes are nice. It doesn't look like much. So now, this one's a, a plastic version, it looks like, now that I see the plastics company. It may still be a, a Bakelite. It's hard to say. I would have to look into this one. But either way, somebody was happy to get it at 280 Advertising one, as I said, Planters Peanuts. This one's not that old. Probably 60s, 70s, 80s even. Marlboro has some of these. They had to send away points for, from what I understand, too. And I've seen a few that had Marlboro on it. They always sell. All these advertising ones sell. There are people who just collect domino sets. That's all they collect. There's other ones who build, um, like Domino Rally, the, the machines that you can get, the little toy sets that would build huge domino setups that you could knock down. There's dominoes that are just sold just to set up that way and not play the game as well. So all of that stuff sells. Do yourself a favor and look up Domino Rally, and you'll see what I'm talking about too. I sell parts from those all the time. Here's another Bakelite marbleized domino set. The color ones are just great. 
great on these. This is a really early, nice example. I doubt they have the box on this one here. $202 on it. Oh, they do have the box. The boxes are typical. They're kind of like fuzzy, like um, uh, velvet almost from the ones I've seen. Now here's somebody who's just stuck some on a necklace here, drilled a hole in them. Um, it looks like they're full-size dominoes. That looks like to be a quarter there. So this is, again, you'll find them in many different versions in many different ways. They sell like this. This says it's tested. Who knows if it's really tested or not. $150. It's not a huge category, as you see, though. So anyway, here's another version, the, the same basic marbleized. This is a more dark one, gray and tan, 122 um, it's missing some, it says too as well. Looks like some of them might be a little mis misformed, maybe. Maybe it's like a second set. Another advertising set, as I said, they always sell. This is Coca-Cola, put out by Coca-Cola dealers, probably 50s or 60s. You may get lucky and find a date on these, but I don't think most of any of these type I see have dates on them. Halsum, so I would say 50s or 60s, just by the company name. They make chess sets, too. That's why I know the name very well. It's missing one on top of it. 150 bucks. Another, uh, this is Halliburton. This is a uh, company. They do machining and stuff like that. We actually have a place around here, and they're really worn. Um, so they've been used very much so from the way it looks. Um, $67. Not a big, huge profit, but you're probably going to get these for like 5 or 10 bucks, you know, if you're lucky. Maybe even not that much. Just buy the wear on them. That would be your argument point. Now I'm just going to show you a couple others. Um, this is a uh, French prisoner of war from the Napoleonic era. Now, these show up for Civil War, Rev War, you name it, there's a war that, they, you know, they made dominoes while they were sitting around doing nothing. It's in a nice fancy bone box. Uh, $398 US. Now, this is probably top end, not as high as, you know, like a Gucci set or something, which there are. So, you know, there's just a ton of opportunity in this, this field. Even the cheaper ones you can get for a couple bucks out of sale. Even the ones I've bought at Savers, I've made money when our Savers was open. I'm going to show you this last one here. I've had these many times, half a dozen or more in the last five years. They're black on one side or ebony wood, and then it's bovine on the face. And then there's a brass pin that allows these to be spun. You can set it on the table, and only that brass pin will, will touch the table, and they'll spin drastically around the table. They're spinners. That's literally what they say. But I've sold many. I've, I think I even showed these in a couple of hauls on a couple of the occasions I've gotten them in the last year. Most people don't realize they're that old, so that's why I can get them. I spent 5 bucks in the last group that I had. 75 bucks I took for them. There's one for 85. It just depends on the condition, the size, how well they're executed as to how much they'll go for. But again, this is just a typical example. There's a ton of dominoes. It's got a high sell through rate. You can even find new ones on markdown and clearance occasionally, like for characters. Um, you know, there's Simpsons and things like that that they made dominoes of too. And some of those will go for some good money. So look them all up. Do yourself a favor, as I said, and look up some comp searches on vintage dominoes or dominoes in general. Um, and then look up Domino Rally. Now, those go over the all over the place with prices, but we do get decent money if we find a nice box set of Domino Rallies. Uh, and again, if you do the research like I'm telling you to, you'll look up, you'll see what they are. They're vintage. They came out, I think, I think 60s is probably the earliest, maybe 70s. But I've seen them personally from the late 70s and into the 80s. And I've sold every domino rally set I've, I've ever had. They're, they're not for playing the dominoes that come with these. They're just for setting up so you can make designs and then knock them all down later on. It's a machine even that you can get from the same domino rally series or sets that would stack the dominoes up for you on the floor in order so you wouldn't have to line them all up but anyway that's what i have on dominoes well there you go there's dominoes i know it's an oddball subject it seems kind of odd but i run into them a lot i even find them at savers goodwill salvation armies garage sales flea markets auctions sometimes you can buy them in bulk estate sales especially i find them in too so they're all over the place all the items i show you are items that i have found in the past or recently so it's something that you can find they're not odd screwball items they're items Items that are everyday usable items that will still show up. So that's what I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. 